This 2 watt laser, the IR laser, when I got it would not work. I was unable to get to engrave anything. The issue was that this thing would say it was overheating almost immediately, um, and I was having problems with that. I've been going back and forth with Xtool uh, customer service for a while. They were going to give me the option to either refund this or to try and replace the motherboard, which in this video you're about to see, I actually replaced the motherboard. Um, appears that the motherboard was the issue because uh, I replaced it. So far, so good. I had two solid uh, laser engravings happen on this metal so far on my test piece. No issues, no overheating. Also, I noticed that there's a new number that was not popping up before telling me the actual temperature on this thing as it's going up and everything. So I can actually monitor all that. Um, now that I know that this is working and the motherboard's replaced, I have the old one here. I'm gonna keep this, I guess, as a backup for now. Um, worst case scenario, the other one ever fries, I will have one that will at least work with the regular 40 watt laser. First things first, we have to turn off the power and then unplug all the things from the back. Our cable, USB, and then this thing you have to push in and pull out. Take out the safety key and then you're going to see there's six screws that we have to take on this back panel. And the tool that we can use for this is the one that came with it, it's a little hex tool. And this guy right here, and we'll take out these six screws. All right, so we made inside the machine. This is the motherboard that has to come out. So in this part, there's three things that we have to do. One of the things is there's a SIM card right here. Push up, let it click drop out so that's the side for now there's an antenna right here just wiggle that off there carefully all right and then you have this little power adapter right here just gotta disconnect that all right now that that's done there are six screws that we have to take off one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's also this thing, which is a Phillips head, but it's a conductor screw. So we'll have to take that off last. All right, now we just have to get a Phillips head screwdriver real quick for this one little piece. And here we go. Induction screw comes out pretty easy. And that should be it. Now, I just have to pull this motherboard out. All right, here we go. Okay, so we have 15 things on the back of this we have to cut, plus this right here. This is a wire tie that they just have been holding the straps on with. Maybe that is possibly why this is messed up is because they wrapped it around the motherboard. I don't think that would affect it, but it was very interesting that this all happened. Anyways, I have to start taking these apart. So the first things first. I'm gonna take this adapter off. Put this up here. I'm gonna get a knife to cut that off. You should never cut towards you like this, but I'm trying to there we go you know like that highly recommend using scissors for that part all right so here we go I'll take this one out All right, I finally got this one out. It was a little bit of a struggle, but that one was glued on there. Some of the glue looks like it got on the side. 
So they said that these are color coded. All right, there you have it. There is the old motherboard. I'm looking to see if I can spot any kind of fry marks or anything that looks out of the ordinary. Now the process of reinstalling this. This already sounds like there's something loose on it. Hold on, let me compare. Yeah, something's loose in here. That one, and finally, let's go and put this back in here. There's a little slot, I don't know if you can see those, but up here and up here, there's a little thing that this slides into. Bam, that should keep it lined up. And then, I honestly don't think it matters which end of these go back in there on this one if you're worried about that. So, now that we've done that, put one of these in. And it's like with any other thing that I have to do, we will tighten this right here, get it going. There we go. Now do the same over here. But you also don't want to miss some. I have a loose motherboard in there. This thing rocked back and forth. All right, so this should just push right on here. So this new, there we go. It's attached. Now we gotta put in the power. The power should only fit one way. There we go. We got that now. And then finally, the SSD card has to go back in. Uh, there we go, got it. There we go, that's installed. All right, one, two, three. Good to go on that. Now, put this plate back on. Everything's lining up, that's perfect. Just gonna put these back on and then Give this a test run. There you go. All right. Now time to start plugging things back in. Power. Air assist. Push in on this. Feed that in. There you go. Then. We got our USB for the air assist. Plug that in. And then we need our safety key. Plug that in. All right, now it's time to fire this bad boy up and see what happens. The test is on the 40 watt laser. We're gonna see if this can cut like normal. 
I'll do a distance first, measure it. And we'll see how this comes out. one is good that was 10 of 15 or sorry 100 percent of 15 millimeters per second all right now we gotta swap out the laser and we'll try the new one or the uh ir laser which i've been having problems with This is my test plate that I've been using. We'll give this a try real quick and see how this does. 